Thank you very much, Dr. Morton. Um, it's actually a really special day for, for me today. I don't know if Prof. Daniels and Dr. Hart and yourself, you realize that I've got nine months left as DVC academic at UWC. And um, part of that's been taken up by my sabbatical. So this will be my last uh, colloquium that I will be doing on SOE for SI and hosting with you all um, uh, in this portfolio, let's put it that way. So the theme for today is a wonderful one, and I think it's it's quite appropriate that after all the colloquia we've done and, and the incredible work that we've done collaboratively, not only um, at UWC, but also with our partners, that our theme for today is sharing and reflecting, and I want to highlight three of uh, the, the following three phrases and words, impactful, transformative, engaged scholarship in higher education. And through various parts of our colloquia, we've actually um, looked, for example, what is the relationship between, uh, or what's the conceptual understanding of engaged scholarship. And thinking back of where we started, and I promised Prof. Daniels that I'm not going to take away any of her uh, presentation. I thought it's also appropriate just in this opening to briefly um, say something from our, our journey that, that we have uh, walked at UWC. So we've come a long way and some of our UWC colleagues would remember that um, when I came to UWC in 2015, April 2015, um, I was quite struck um, by the fact that it was a lot of community engagement and um, a lot of that was outreach, which is important, but it was not necessarily connected to our scholarly endeavors and our scholarly project. And at the time I started speaking about how do we move uh, where the heart is in the right place, but how do we move away from a, what I called then a soup kitchen approach to, to community engagement, to a truly um, engaged uh, university or the scholarship of engagement. And it took us quite a while. And from our very first colloquium in 2018, um, what struck me also is, was that the first one, we had our community participants and our partners in the room and together through courageous conversation, we co-created. One of the first things was our, what would our principles for community engagement be? And those principles have really been a guiding light in terms of taking us then forward into institutionalizing to various institutional initiatives, what became in our office an APEX project. So two that I want to mention is um, our at persona promotions criteria. And for those of you who don't know that at UWC, you cannot be promoted. The third criteria of general criteria and also in terms of the differentiated criteria within faculties deal with the integration initially of community engagement with research and learning and teaching and now culminating into SOE um, for SI. Other forms of reward and recogni recognition included um, the reward um, and, and really paying homage in a sense uh, to individuals and teams at our annual Academic Achievers Award um, for doing just that, um, becoming a scholar that is truly engaged. Um, our Charter for Graduate Attributes linked to this as well as our curriculum transformation um, framework as certain elements ensuring that we don't forget about the fact that if this is what you what you intend your graduate attributes to be and how we then link um, social justice transformation and uh, societal relevance and of course impactful um, societal engagement within our CTR framework culminating in our database report initially, and then our scholarship of engagement reports, which we've done since I think it was 2021, the first one was. Now that all the policy frameworks were in place, we focus, um, the final one for us was the UWC framework uh, for the scholarship of engagement for societal impact, which was approved by our Senate in 2022. And with all these frameworks in place, um, we are implementing, and, and I think once one is in the implementation phase, 
It's often difficult for people to remember where we come from and where we are going. And that's why it makes it so appropriate that today we are all here for the purpose of sharing and reflecting to enhance the conceptual understanding, um, not just for us that are already doing the work in the sector. You'll be very surprised as to how uneven even the conceptual understanding of SOE for SI is in our sector. But what do we take from this for other um, HEIs and for the HEI sector as a whole? And, um, and we've also realized that similarly to how we've um, embraced the co-creation that we included in our principles for community engagement at the time, that's in our um, SOE for SI framework, that we can't do this alone. And therefore you, all of you are very welcome, our partners that uh, Dr. Morton has mentioned, all of you that have already collaborated with you, such as Prof. Bussi, you're now no stranger here, and a few of the names that have been mentioned. And then also the fact that I, I do want to highlight that today, we have really esteemed um, uh, panelists, and I'm really looking forward to facilitating the panel with you, Dr. Bruce Darmans. Dr. Ruby Ann Leventhal from my alma mater. Welcome here, especially Dr. Ruby Ann Leventhal. This is your alma mater. So we are actually in a very interesting situation today. Then Prof. Busin Konki Mantleni from MUT. We've got Mrs. Jeeva uh, Munsami from CUT. Mrs. Um, Jacqueline Sierpesal from CPUT. And then Prof. Priscilla Daniels. Uh, from UWC, our director of the um, Community Engagement Unit, will be sharing um, on our behalf. And I'm hoping, and I will speak to this tomorrow as well, that whatever we do today, and you were asked to do the following, and I do want to mention that very, very briefly, um, so that we have that in mind when you do your 10-minute presentations. Uh, we ask you as panelists to reflect on your university's approach to engagement or the scholarship of engagement and how it fosters social transformation. That's why I highlighted the transformative um, or the transformational part in the theme of today. Then secondly, um, you will be reflecting on key strategies and initiatives that your university has implemented to promote collaborative efforts across research, learning and teaching, and engagement service. And then finally, we're very keen to hear your insights and lessons from your university's engagement efforts with, in the context that you find yourself in that could benefit not only us reflecting and sharing here today, but that could benefit other HEI striving for societal impact. And why we chose societal impact we had at one of our colloquia quite an engagement, especially also with our um, uh, US partners around broad impacts and social impact and societal impact. And for us, it was very important that we uh, decided to focus on societal impact, which goes beyond our civic society as, as um, is often uh, thought um, is meant with societal impact. So as you are reflecting today, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what key points uh, um, or key insights you, you bring to the table today in this collaborative effort. And then tomorrow, um, I have a few ideas and this is what we can maybe sleep on tonight as to how do we take this collaboration forward, not just for our own benefit and the benefit of all the societies where we hope to impact um, but for the benefit of the broader transformation of our higher education sector. And with those few words, colleagues, all the participants, all those attendees today, um, uh, you are welcome and thank you for attending our SOE for SI colloquium. My last one, but by no means your last one. Thank you so much.